Hey, well, God bless you. Welcome. I have a very interesting dream to share with you, and then two events I want to invite you to. I might, I, I rarely get a dream, and when I do, I rarely remember it. Whew, but it was heavy duty, but it has a good result. Stick with me just for a few minutes. Thanks for watching this video. By the way, my name's Jeff Daly. I'm a pastor. I'm an author. I am the founder, and I'm a director at of something called National Day of Repentance. It is called everyone, including me, starting with me, <laughs> to repentance because the Lord <clears throat> is coming home soon. He wants his children, his kids who believe in him to repent and cleanse from all of our old stuff. And we all have it. We all fall short of the glory of God, but he is with us to cleanse us. He wants us to be his bride. He's the soon coming bridegroom. Now, let me tell you about this dream. <sighs> I'm one of three stupid teenagers. We're wrestling, we're fighting, just like young kids do, probably having even something to drink, so we're even additionally stupid. And somehow, we're so clueless about who God is, we are, we're fighting over who's going to pull this first straw, so to speak. Who will be the one that will be chosen? And guess what? It's chosen for something really horrible. Chosen to be killed. That's how stupid it is. I mean, the, stick with me. There's a good result here. But we're stupid, we three of us. Someone else gets chosen and actually feels best in this stupid way of thinking. The person who gets chosen to die is honored. And I have to say, there may even be cultures like that today. That's the spirit of death, the Antichrist. Yeah, he wants us dead. So someone gets chosen. I'm a witness. The other person who gets the next draw is next honored. He gets to do the killing. And uh, long story short, this fight ensues. And all of a sudden at the end, I realize, oh my God, my friend is about to die. And even the one who's doing the killing himself is gets convicted of the sin of this all and says, oh God, please spare the life of this one. And all of a sudden, yes, there's a sparing. The one who is just about to die comes back to life and we're all crying. And I woke up and I realized, oh my God, this is, this is my country. The United States of America. This is also Australia. This is the other countries on the planet that have all turned in the last hundred years or more to humanism instead of God's word. We need to be convicted of sin. We need to repent. We all fall short personally, and we have national sins. The killing of innocence, idolatry, sanctification, legalization of sexual perversions, and above all, failing to stand with God's destiny for our nations which is to follow God's word and especially to support Israel, God's chosen people. So I want to invite you to two events that are going to turn us around. If you and I participate, one is on Sunday, the 26th of January, 2020. It will be in Australia, in their capital, in Canberra, in the House of Prayer. There'll be a day of uh, national sins of repentance and purification. And then in the state of California, the first Sunday in March, 2020 on March 1st, again, a day of repentance for California. And we're just reaching out to pastors and priests throughout that state and others throughout the world will also join us on that day to hold a sacred assembly in their church, to return to God, to repent themselves. God loves it when we repent. That's his goal. He wants us to be overcomers, Revelation 3.21. And he says, be zealous to repent. That's verse 19. And he's standing at the door knocking, wanting to come in and dine with us, to coach us, to mentor us, to get rid of the old strongholds, all now covered by his blood. So join me for these two key events. Whew. That dream was heavy duty, but in the end, God's mercy prevailed. Join us. God bless you.